My mower is mowing for me. I don't have to do anything. Hey guys, Zach here from Kubota Lynchburg. Uh, today we are checking out behind me the Wright ZK Autonomous Robotic Mower. Um, so here at Kubota Lynchburg, we know that the mower industry is changing. Um, it's not there yet. It's still almost all gas powered like it is behind me, um, but everybody's been, you know, kind of in that robotic game. So today we're going to demo this Wright ZK mower. The cool thing about this is it's autonomous. The not so cool thing is the price tag that comes with it, but it is justifiable in the long run if you have the properties that need it. Um, so we're just testing on a small section today. Um, we stocked one. This is our unit behind us that we're testing and running. Um, but basically an autonomous mower means that you can be off doing other things while the mower's cutting the grass. Um, so we're gonna test that today. Basically what you do is we're gonna make one lap around the edges of the property with this mower. Um, it's going to set the edges of the property. You then hop off the machine, cause it's a stand on, it's a right stander ZK, best stander in the market still. Um, and don't, don't hate me other brands, but um, we're gonna do that one lap. We can hop off of it, push a button on a remote that you guys can see a picture of here. Um, we're gonna push that button on the remote that's gonna say mow and it's gonna mow the rest of the property. It's gonna do back and forth stripes. It's gonna leave that pretty stripe that the right mowers are known to have. Um, and it's gonna do it itself. It has, you know, a whole bunch of different cameras on it to, um, you know, see obstacles and see if like a dog or a kid runs in front of the mower, it can stop all those kind of things. And while it's cutting the grass, the couple acres that need to be cut, um, you can go, you can go weed eat. You can hop on another mower and you can go mow the bank that this one couldn't hit or something. Um, you could go collect payment from the property owner. You can do whatever you need to with it. Um, so that's the whole point of it being autonomous is you're not spending your six hours cutting all those acres of grass where you're standing on it. You can go be twice as efficient by running other equipment, by weed eating, edging, lining, um, being on the phone, making other business calls with it. So that's what we're going to test today. You guys are going to see some, I'm going to talk about some cool features as they come up. All right, so I just did my first round on it. So what you do first is you do that outside pass on it. Um, and then basically you can turn off the PTO. You can actually see the mower behind me. It's revving itself up. She hit Matt. What it's going to do is it's now gonna follow the paths that I just made. So it's gonna be very efficient. You can see it's cutting right on the edge of where I hit and it's gonna go and do itself. Um, so my first pass I do around the outside. Now they're still working out the fine details. You have to cut within, you know, you have to kind of leave a 10 foot obstacle range. Um, it's going to sense things like trees and obstacles and everything on it. What it's doing right now is it's going to start a striping pattern. So it's going to sense, it's going to feel it, and it's going to come down and it's going to stripe itself. Um, it's probably going to run right into us. I hopefully not, but hey, get it right into us. Anyway, it's going to come on down. It's going to keep that perfect line. It's going to be very efficient. It's gonna hit that edge. It's gonna spin itself around and do the next pass. So over there, we've got Bonnie. She's kind of working on the controls on her cell phone and on the control, but all she really had to do is once I step off the platform, I turn off the PTO, I flip it to autonomous mode. Um, and then on her control, she's gonna literally just hit the mow button. Um, and we have an app, so I'm going to basically go through some of the details on the app here. Let me see if I can find it. You're going to have this app going on the phone. You've got things such as alerts. Let's say it got stuck in a pothole or it saw a kid running across its path. It's going to stop itself or if it gets stuck, it's going to shoot an alert to your cell phone. Um, you have a map, which she'll put up on the screen here and show you guys what the map looks like as well. Um, and so you can see exactly where the mower is and what it's doing at all times. So I can see where it is on the property mowing. You can actually control everything from your cell phone. So if we look here, don't know if you guys can see or not, you have things like you can resume your job. You can change your obstacle detection. 
Um, right now, I don't know, it's probably at the four or five mile per hour, but if it's very flat, dry grass, you can run it at turbo speed at eight miles per hour. Um, there's different things you can do. You can see the reports on the machine if there were any, um, and you can basically see that the mowing is in progress. Um, it also has a technical support line, which uh, Green Z has very good customer support and technical support from what I heard. So if you have a question, you want to customize it, you can call them and kind of customize this mower to yourself. Um, so while it's cutting, realistically, if I was a landscaper, I'd be going and get my weed eating, be going and get my blower, maybe go and get my smaller stand on 36 inch to do the edges of the property real quick, while it's going to do the very time consuming process of cutting out the whole section of grass. Now this is, you know, less than half an acre of grass, but let's say it was four or five acres. It might be running behind me for two or three hours while in that time I just did everything else. So we'll just kind of sit and watch it do its thing. We're going to see how it hits the obstacles because in the next rows or so it's going to be the trees um, and we'll see how it kind of does a path around those. Something else I'll mention that we're learning is it'll actually do a cleanup pass as well. If you want it to come back where it's doing its little turns and corners, you can actually see some divots of grass pushed up. Um, at the end, it'll actually do a cleanup pass, which will let it clean up these little areas of grass. Um, so it'll make it look a little prettier. Um, yep, and there she goes, turn around. And all of this, of course, is done by satellite through cell phones and all those kind of cool things. Um, all right, I'm curious how close it'll get. Ah, yep. So it senses that obstacle. It'll go around it. It'll then come back onto its path. So it, right now it's about a 10 foot radius. You can actually see it's probably closer to six foot in my opinion right there. Um, they are working on getting that tuned down some. Um, and so you can get closer two, three feet. So it's not as much weed eating or small cleanup work to do on it. When you see these pretty stripes in the grass, uh, this is the first time we're cutting this season, and it has got some good, clean striping going on. And this is pretty wet grass, too, so it's actually handling this slope pretty well, in my opinion. Um, it's probably 18, 20 degree slope um, in its steeper areas, and it's handling it very well. Again, this is all about time-saving costs. Um, it is very difficult to hire employees right now. It's difficult to find good people who want to work well. Um, and so if you can run this and run your own mower and your own weed eater, you just cut out a whole middleman. You cut out a whole salary. Yes, this machine is going to cost you about $34,000. It's expensive. It's a lot of technology in it. The other thing it's going to cost you is part of its uh, monthly fees. It's about $12,000 a year for the technology, for electronics, um, for all the back end support on it, which that will get cheaper as time goes. Um, but right now, all right, so your total cost is $45,000 this year. Well, that's what you would have paid an employee to be running that mower for you. It's all going to also going to last you many, many years. It's also going to use a stand on, so you can use it as a stand on mower. Um, and realistically, it's a time saver and fuel saver. It's a 40 horsepower EFI engine on there. It's going to save fuel in the long run too, because it's so efficient. It's cutting right to the edge every single time. You're not wasting a foot of overlap. So. And one other thing on the controls is you can actually robot it. So if I wanted to go clean back up, but I didn't want to walk up the hill, I can then grab my controller handle and I can turn it into a remote controlled mower and I can go take it close to that tree and everything without me having to walk over there. So this is the uh, remote control portion. If you ever played video games, you can uh, go do a remote. It's spinning a little bit on the grass because you don't have the weight of an operator. But so I'm controlling everything. I could go cut around that tree remote control and come back down and around come back to us. All right, let's say there's another stripe I wanted to do here. I could, you know, go do this stripe. It's kind of cool. You can just all, you know, play some Xbox, play some PlayStation, and you can get uh, ready for it. So again, there's a lot of different cool features about this thing that you can do. Woo. So guys, that's the right autonomous mower for you. Um, it's really cool. It's new technology that's coming out. Uh, Wright and some other partners have invested a lot of money into it to make it as bright as possible. 
Um, and so, you know, if you're that landscaper who's looking for it, heck, maybe your property owner has 10, 12 acres and you want to sit back and let it do itself. Um, this is an option to look at for you. A lot of there's a lot of pros. There's some cons, of course, with the price and everything. Um, but again, this might be the option for you guys to save yourself in some employee labor, some employee time um, and just overall efficiency. Again, the future of lawn mowing is changing and we want to make sure that we are at the beginning of the industry.